I had to deal with very rude comments. Have you been burned or what has been going on at home? I want people to realize that yes, I have ED and yes, it affects me every single day, but I'm still living my life and I'm still doing the things that I desire. My name is Ariana Covarrubias and I am 20 years old. I was born with a rare genetic skin disorder called recessive dystrophic epidermolysis bullosa or also known as EB. I would describe EB as a skin condition in which makes your skin extremely fragile and easy to blister with any friction. My skin easily shears open, causing a blister or a wound that is very painful and hard to manage. I was actually born with the second most severe form of EB, in which makes my wounds and open areas look like third degree burns. And then dermatology, right there. I would say one of the worst parts about having EB would have to be having to change bandages and it being so painful and every time you're taking off a bandage seeing the constant reminder of how little control you have over your body. EB affects me in many more ways that I could ever explain. The activities that can cause blisters on my body are oftentimes things that people take for granted. For example, I get blisters in the inside of my mouth due to eating. Sometimes even showering can be very painful because the water can cause more damage to my skin. Okay guys, so we're finishing bandages. It's taking us like an hour or so. My feet are actually one of my worst areas due to walking because the constant pressure of walking causes blisters on the bottom of my feet. Say hi, princess. I don't have any fingernails, so I was never able to do any nail polish like my friends or the girls that I knew at school would do. Everybody be staring. Everyone, let me find out. <laughs> People in public stare at my skin every single time I'm outdoors. From the moment I step foot out of my house to the moment I come back in, there is never a day where I'm not stared at or at least asked one question about my skin. Oftentimes, people would go up to my parents and ask them if I was burned or if I had fallen, if I was in an accident. Everyone is staring like that, everyone. People can be extremely cruel out there. The amount of questions and comments that have been made towards my skin and my appearance have been endless. In 2007, I got my feeding tube was because my esophagus got so narrow from all the blisters and scarring that I could not eat anything or even swallow my own saliva. Basically, I put this on my G-tube and then the syringe, we connect it to this insert right here. For several years, I was connected to a machine in which it would feed me every few hours. Then once I got older and I reached puberty, I started to gain some strength in eating. Having a feeding tube gives me mixed emotions because I am unable to wear the crop tops and certain types of clothing like the rest of the girls my age do. And that makes me at times feel self-conscious and not as confident. However, in recent months, I started to share pictures where my hidden button was on show and it became visible to thousands of people. Hey guys, it's Ariana and welcome back to my channel. So, you girl just woke up and this is how I look when I wake up. <laughs> I started vlogging in 2017. I started it because I realized that no one with EB was really showing videos and content that would 
allow people to realize that EB is not just a skin condition. We're taking pictures for the gram. The videos that were up about EB were mostly agonizing and they probably make people feel pity and sad. I want people to realize that yes, I have EB and yes, it affects me every single day, but I'm still living my life and I'm still doing the things that I desire. I hope to motivate people to love themselves and to not take for granted the activities that people like myself would wish to do without pain. I hope to be a successful body positivity and EB advocate, helping others to love themselves and be accepting of others for who they are.